Hi there, this is Ed Herzog with edherzog.com and today I want to show you how to create a footer in Elementor, in Elementor Pro using the brand new version of the theme builder that just came out with version 3.0 of Elementor Pro. So let me switch over to my desktop and I'll take you through a tutorial on how to create a footer in Elementor Pro. So here I am in my WordPress dashboard and the first thing that I want to do is I want to access the new theme builder. So I'm going to come here to templates and then click on theme builder. Now this is going to take me to the old version of the theme builder. I assume that Elementor is eventually going to get rid of this and then clicking on that button will take it directly to the new version, but at least for now it's a two-step process. So now to get to the new version of the theme builder, I'm going to click here on try it now. And now I'm in the new version of the theme builder. Now this is a demo website, that's why you don't see any content here, but let's go ahead and take a look here. We have three different ways in which to start building a footer. One is right here. I can click on this blue button and start building a footer that way. I can also come over here and click on this blue button, or I can come over here, click on footer, and then click up here and add new. Any one of those ways and you can start creating a footer. So let's go ahead and click on add new. Now that is going to open up the Elementor footer template. So wait here a second while that loads up. And here we go. We have all these templates here that we can start with. If you like one of these, you can choose one of these to start with in terms of building your footer. If you don't like any of these, if you want to start from scratch, you can click here on the X button that will close out this and take you to a blank page. Either way works depending on how you want to create your footer. But let's go ahead and for this demonstration purpose, let's just pick this one here. I can click here, obviously, if I want to preview it first, but let's go ahead and insert it and wait for this to insert into the page. Now because it's a footer, it will show up down here at the bottom and some of this content doesn't show up because it's obviously uh, kind of demo content that I don't have access to. You know, this was a logo. Obviously I don't have that particular logo, so I would need to edit that. These are uh, social icons. Now they do show up once I clicked on that. So you have this part up here and then you also have this second part down here. This is for your copyright space. This is very important, by the way. Uh, I use this on my page and, you know, it's very easy then to update at the beginning of every year. I just change the year and, you know, instead of saying uh, copyright 2019, uh, last year I changed 2020, next year I'll change 2021. Very easy to update the copyright uh, year on all of your pages. Just do it one time and that's all I need to do. So in terms of designing your actual footer, that's really up to you. You know, you'll have access because you have the Elementor Pro you'll have access to all of the Elementor Pro widgets, so obviously all the free ones as well. And if you have any Elementor add-ons, you'll have access to those widgets as well. So whatever tools you have access to through Elementor, you can use to design your footer. And, you know, I'm assuming if you're a pro user, you know a lot about how to design. So anything you can do in terms of designing a page in Elementor, you can do when it comes to designing a footer as well. So, you know, I can change, I can edit the column here. So I can click here on the section, sorry, edit section. And, you know, I've got access to all these layout options, style options, and then advanced options. So, you know, if I just want to change a color here, I can come here to the background color and click on that. And now I have a different background color. You know, I can, if I don't want this column here, I can go ahead and delete the, that column. Oops, try that again. Delete that. I can change the width of columns. Make that, that, bring this over here. Doesn't look good, I'm just, you know, I'm just playing around with it, just showing you, again, what you can do. You have access to all the different design options. You know, anything that I have over here, I can draw, uh, drag and drop over here and edit it, make it look the way I want it to look. So again, this is the full Elementor editor that you have access to here when you're creating your footer. Now, the other thing that's very important here is that you do need to make this responsive. So, you know, you do need to click here on tablet, make sure it looks good for tablet, click on mobile, and then mobile will stack. And so, you know, you need to make sure it looks good on mobile. So, you know, you need to go through and design it separately for tablet and mobile. So make sure it looks nice on every single potential uh, screen that people might be accessing from. Uh, and that's basically it in terms of designing your, um, 
your footer. Now, two important things to know. This is very important, so please pay attention to this. Uh, you will have to turn off any sort of default footer that your theme puts on your pages. I had to do that for, I use OceanWP, so I had to go into OceanWP, go into their customizing options, and turn off their default footer. If you don't do that, then your theme's default footer will show up in your pages. You obviously don't want that. That's not the point here. The point is to, to design your footers via Elementor, via the Elementor theme builder. The second thing is that you, no matter what you select, we're gonna go here in a second to the display conditions, but no matter what you select for your, for your display conditions, you cannot display footers on a page that is an Elementor Canvas page. Elementor Canvas pages by design do not have headers and they do not have footers. So if you want a header or a footer on those pages, you'll need to manually go into that page and add a header or a footer. So just be aware of that, you know, you'll have to do that. Um, you know, you cannot do it using the theme builder. It's not the way the theme builder works. So, uh, so now we have this, you know, again, we don't really have the design to look nice. It was just a trial to kind of show you how to get here, how to access it. And again, you've got access to all the, the design elements and options as you would anywhere else with an Elementor. Now we're gonna go ahead and publish this. And now we have access to the display condition. So click here on add condition. Now remember also with Elementor, uh, you can design different footers. So if you have different types of pages and you wanna have different footers on different pages, you can do that. For example, on my website, on my real website, I have on my landing page, I only have that very bottom space with a copyright. I don't have the different footer widgets. It's just for me, that's not something I want on my landing pages. Same thing for my 404 page. I just have that copyright. I don't have all the other widgets. So, you know, you can design multiple footers and, uh, you know, display them where you want. So the great thing about Elementor is you have that option. You've got a lot of power here. So um, you have both include and exclude options and you can add as many as you want combine them and you know decide where you want to display your various footers. Now, if you only have one footer and you want to display it on, on all your site or on your entire site, this is all you have to do, right? Include entire site. But if not, you can go here, you've got archives, all archives, author archives, data archives, search results, post archives, etc. For singular, you can click here, you've got all singular, and then you know front page, posts, and category, uh, etc. Pages, media, direct child of, any child of, by author, and 404 page. So a lot of different options to put your footers where you want them to be. And once, you know, let's say for example, you could go here, uh, actually singular and pages, and you want it on all, but you also want to exclude it on one particular page. So come here, exclude, singular page and let's say I want to go home page just start typing the name of the page you want and Elementor will start showing it to you and you select it so now it's going to display on all my pages except my home page because I've excluded there so again you can mix and match conditions however you want whatever works or makes sense for you let me go ahead and I'm gonna get rid of that put this back on the entire site and go ahead and save and close it. Wait for this to save. Okay, so now it's saved and I have this page here, just a template that I picked from the Elementor library. And as you see, it does not have a footer on it. Once I reload this page, that footer that we just created should display on this page. Scroll down, and there it is, right there. So, you know, because I put it on the entire site, it was very easy. It uh, obviously automatically showed up on every page on my website, and so there it is. Very easy to create and place uh, footers on your website using the, using the theme builder. So here I am back inside of the theme builder. I'm here on the footer section, and you see right here, I've got the footer that we just created. You can scroll down and take a look at it there. Here it shows you the green button here, shows you it is live on your website. This shows you who created it, gives you the date it was created. 
Down here, it shows you where it's being displayed. If you want to edit the conditions, you can click there on Edit Conditions. Go ahead and save and close that. Go back. Here, you can click here to edit the footer if you want to edit the content. Then here, you've got Export Trash and then Rename. It automatically gives it this default name, but you probably want a different name, so you click there and give it a different name. You can also come here onto this page here and up here where it says edit with Elementor, you can click here to open that footer and edit it. You can also go to the theme builder via this here. The other way to edit the footer is on a page. Once you're within the Elementor editor, you can scroll down here. I've got this footer here and I can click right there on edit footer. So a lot of different ways in which you can access the footer and change the content if you want to or change the display, change the, you know, how it looks, etc. Let me just show you finally real quick what I was telling you about the canvas pages. So if I come here and make this Elementor canvas and go ahead and update it and go ahead and reload this page. And I scroll down here and you see that that Footer is no longer here. As I said, if it's an Elementor Canvas page, the footer will not display. Even if you say you want the footer on your entire website, it will not display on an Elementor Canvas page. So that is it. That is how you create a footer in Elementor using the brand new Elementor Theme Builder, the one that came out with Elementor Pro 3.0. If you have any questions at all about anything related to creating a footer, please let me know. I'm always willing to help people as best as I can. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing at least one Elementor video a week for the rest of 2020, probably into 2021 as well. And make sure when you subscribe, you also hit that notification bell. That way you know when I've uploaded, uploaded a new video. Finally, if you, if you don't currently have access to Elementor Pro and you decide that you want to uh, have access, which I always recommend, it just, you know, I've been using it since it first came out. It has just so many amazing features that keep adding more features, uh, you know, to me, it's still by far the best theme builder for, uh, for WordPress. If you do decide to upgrade, I will put my affiliate link in the video description below. I always appreciate it when people buy via my affiliate link. It gives me a little bit of money and allows me to continue to create 100% free content. So that's it. I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye.